On November 4, 2024, the U.S. Department of Defense confirmed the deployment of two more B-52H Stratofortress bombers to al Udiyat Air Base in Qatar, raising the total count to six B-52 bombers stationed in the Middle East. This strategic maneuver, in light of escalating tensions with Iran and its regional allies, underscores the United States' commitment to deterrence and power projection in a complex security environment. The B-52H Stratofortress, developed by Boeing and in service since 1961, has established itself as a pivotal component of U.S. military power. As a multi-role long-range bomber, it supports both nuclear deterrence and conventional strike missions. Its eight Pratt & Whitney TF-33 turbofan engines provide the bomber with a top speed of 1,000 km per hour and an operational ceiling of 15,240 meters. The aircraft's payload capacity of over 31,751 kg allows it to carry a diverse range of ordnance, from precision-guided munitions to advanced cruise missiles, enhancing its adaptability across various mission types. The B-52HS recent upgrades have enhanced its relevance in modern warfare. The replacement of its TF-33 engines with Rolls-Royce F-130 engines is anticipated to extend its operational life beyond 2040. Additionally, the integration of advanced radar systems from Northrop Grumman and the N-ALQ-172 electronic countermeasures suite strengthens the bomber's ability to navigate and operate in highly contested environments. Upgrades through the Connect program have further modernized the B-52H, enhancing its network-centric capabilities and enabling real-time mission retasking. This array of advanced defense systems not only bolsters the aircraft's survivability but also enables it to perform effectively in strategic strike, close air support, interdiction, and maritime missions. The deployment of additional B-52 bombers is part of a larger Pentagon strategy, which includes an increased presence of fighter jets, refueling tankers, and Arleigh Burke-class destroyers with Aegis ballistic missile defense capabilities. According to Pentagon spokesperson Major General Pat Ryder, this enhanced presence aims to deter hostile actions from Iran or its proxies against U.S. personnel and assets in the region. Ryder emphasized that any aggressive acts would be met with a decisive response. The Middle East has experienced a series of high-stakes incidents throughout the year, with escalating hostilities between Iran and Israel. In April, an Iranian strike followed an Israeli attack on its Damascus consulate, while a subsequent exchange in October, reportedly in retaliation for the targeted eliminations of Iran-aligned leaders, heightened concerns over further escalations. The U.S. bolstering its forces, including the deployment of B-52s, is aimed at reinforcing a deterrent posture in response to these mounting threats. Israel's recent deployment of approximately 100 fighter jets, including F-35s, for strikes on Iranian targets, and Iran's subsequent missile strike on Israeli assets in October, have further fueled the region's volatility. The presence of U.S. B-52 bombers serves as a clear signal of the U.S.'s strategic flexibility and readiness to support allies while addressing emerging threats in the Middle East. As part of the reinforced defense strategy, the U.S. has also deployed a terminal high-altitude area defense, THAAD system to bolster Israel's missile defenses. This system, capable of intercepting ballistic missiles during their terminal phase, is supported by 100 U.S. personnel to ensure operational readiness. Outside the Middle East, the U.S. has maintained a strategic posture in the Asia-Pacific as well, deploying the B-1B Lancer to the Korean Peninsula. This deployment, part of trilateral exercises with South Korean and Japanese forces, demonstrates a shared commitment to counter North Korea's nuclear and missile programs. Additionally, in June 2024, B-52s were stationed in Guam for live-fire tests with the AGM-183 hypersonic weapon underscoring the bomber's role in the Pacific as a critical element of U.S. deterrence efforts against adversaries such as North Korea and China. The U.S. Department of Defense's decision to deploy additional B-52 bombers to the Middle East reflects a broader strategy aimed at maintaining stability and deterring adversaries in an increasingly volatile region. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin has communicated a resolute stance, asserting that any attacks on U.S. interests will be met with immediate and proportionate measures. This enhanced military presence underscores the U.S.'s resolve to protect its personnel, partners, and interests during a period marked by heightened regional tensions.